competed with the Carlwis. It was my first time to see the great athletes in the world. Uh, Carl Lewis and Ben Johnson competing in the over 100 So meters. you were together in the village in the competition? Yeah, we were together yeah. in the village games. Um, uh, the games, they were very, very much, very much good because mm. uh, when they uh, were announcing the athletes, all the athletes would say, so-and-so is from this country, so-and-so is from this country, and then they came, they called my name, they like Yankala from Zimbabwe, then I had to jump in front and I felt very great. Very, very great because the stadium was fully packed, fully, fully packed with the, uh, you know, the competition was very great and was very fierce because I competed with the guys, Steve Lewis, who won the 400 meters over my event. It was Steve Lewis. Um, after that. So uh, you clocked 46 seconds. Yes. Which was a record for Zimbabwe. It was. It's never been achieved. Yes, yes, yes. So how was it? How did you feel clocking 46 seconds? Is it for a uh, 400 meters? It was over 400 meters. It was a very good, I mean, a record. But then it was, uh, it was somebody uh, broke that record again. 45, the guys who are best in, uh, in states. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you didn't reach the final of the Olympics? I, no, I didn't. I didn't. Mm -hmm. So, but you're proud of your achievements. Very much. I was very much proud of my achievements. Mm. Uh, just, just to be in the Olympic Games as a man, as a human being, is something great in human life. Mm. Mm. So these are some of the medals which you won uh, competing in various yeah. uh, meetings, various, you can see the Botswana, Namibia, uh, Namibia yes. you can see... Yeah, yes. some of them trekking through Zimbabwe, Zimbabwe and all that. And Zambia. Yeah, Zambia and all that. This, yes. great. this one is for all Africa Games? Yeah, this is for all Africa Games. Uh, yeah, in, how did you score there? In, in Egypt. Uh, yes. And then you came out number? No, in Egypt. It was, um, I maybe I went up to the semi finals. Okay, yes. then you admitted the semi final. Uh, what is your greatest disappointment? My greatest disappointment. It's because I wasn't offered a scholarship like other athletes. Yeah, that was very much uh, a very big disappointment uh, in my life. Because uh, when uh, I was in um, in Wanki, I understand I was, uh, I was elected to, I mean, I was given a scholarship okay. by one of the countries, India. Uh, the lead coach, maybe because of, um, I don't know, I mm. didn't get my forms. They were so hidden. you left out. Yeah, I was left out. Mm. Uh. So, um, what are you doing in terms of life and business now? Yeah, life is hard. We're just running these um, uh, flea markets, and then it will well, try my luck, maybe mining because of the lack of equipments. There's nothing. Um, it's just, just like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. What about uh, in terms of athletics? Are you doing anything? Are you having a cut? I've got a cap. Mm. But uh, my wish is to form an academy, to have an academy, sports, uh, sports academy, athletics academy. I've got a club because of lack of facilities, local funds, and transport for the kids to go and compete. That uh, uh, is a very that. big disadvantage. Mm. What's your greatest wish now? I wish people to help me, uh, maybe, uh, and my former friends, whom I competed with internationally, just to just to have a day and visit my club and see what is happening. And I wish to have a pole vault in the rural areas, uh, one of the events which is very scarce in this country. And the pole vault, uh, steeple chairs, and help some eggs in the rural area to tap the talent uh, to those kids who are very much remote, who are far from the uh, towns.